Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. Today is still May 26th, I'm continuing on where I left off. And uh, in the last episode we talked a lot of theory, didn't do a lot of work. But uh, in this episode I am ready to move on. So, let's, uh, let's get to it. So, what we have here is we need to render invalid dollars with an icon in the text field. So, um, right now, when we run the program, and we type in something bogus, we get an icon here, but we I want to get a little icon hovering on the right-hand side. Uh, there's a couple of ways to do that that I'm aware of. One is to create a panel and embed a text field in it and then also embed the icon uh, or, or have add an icon to the text panel when appropriate. Um, another option would be to actually modify the text field so that the icon hovers. I've seen code online to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, let's take a quick look at the other stuff on our to do to make sure that's what we need to do next. This can come later. This can come later. Um, the answer to my, this question right now is no because it hasn't been an issue. But we also haven't worked in that part of code for a while. Let's see, we definitely need to do that later, later, later. Ah, uh, okay. And I should probably be doing this. I'll look at that later, though. Later. And this, um, yeah, let's do that later. I think once I get done with this current round of stuff, apologies, there's an airplane going overhead. I hope that's not showing up on the video or in the audio. Uh, anyway, when we get this piece done, or when we get this current section done, we'll probably go through and just delete a lot of this stuff as not mattering anymore. But, um, okay, so let's do the icon in the field. I think the best way to do that is with a spike. So... Let's see, We've got colorful text field. Let's go ahead and copy that. And we want icon in text field. Okay. I can shut most of this stuff down. Let's see if this works. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So, how do we want to do this? Um, Well, let's see. I think what I would like to do is um, the panel approach seems simplest to me. But you know what? I'm going to take a moment to uh, just Google this, and I'll I'll skip past this part or something like that. Okay, I'm back. So let's. Let's see if we can create a, a label. I'm going to start out by not making the icon toggleable. I'm just going to put it next to next to it. So there's our pane, our content pane. And uh, there's our text field. Should be pretty straightforward. I just need to say JPanel. Let's see, let's say icon text field. Okay. 
and that should be a J panel. And um, I think what we want to do is I believe the default layout for a panel is the um, the layout with all the directions where you've got north, south, center, east, west. I have to pause here for a moment. Eclipse is thinking. There we go. Um, so we should be able to have a text field in the center and then um, an icon to the east. And the icon is going to be a J level. And suppose we actually need an icon. Let's grab one. I don't remember how that works. There's our resource. Let's go ahead and grab that. Okay, so there's our icon, and we should be able to say that icon label dot set icon icon should be that simple. Well, let's see what happens. I don't know if that's going to work or not. No, it's not going to work. We got... Compiler. Oh. Oof. Oh, and my poor Titigachi, it doesn't know I'm spiking. Um, let's see if we put, put him to sleep. Oh, I didn't just put him to sleep, I euthanized him. He's gone. <laughs> poor old guy. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> let's see, what's going on now? Uh, duh, duh, duh. Now what's the matter? Wrong path for my resource. Now you know why I have to use TDD is because if I didn't, nothing I wrote would ever work because I make so many mistakes. Well, there we go. Isn't that cute? Okay. I seem to remember this being a problem before. Um, in that, yeah, the reason I didn't immediately use a panel before is because I need this to stretch out. Um, So, for example, if I just say content.add center text field, it resizes like it's supposed to, uh, and that's good. But if I do it there, it doesn't. That may just be a layout manager thing. Um, let's take a look. What happens if I...
I do it directly, what happens? Well, then it works great. Okay, so that's just a layout manager issue, a fairly minor one. Um, there's something about me doing this versus this that's different, and I don't know what it is. But I'm guessing it's, again, layout manager. So let's take a look at that. Um, so we've got this container here. Oh, I didn't know about this. J layered pane allows components to overlap each other when needed. Isn't that interesting? Okay, there's J panel. It's a generic container. Good. Um, now, so there's our panel, and we need to say panel dot set layout. Yeah, and we need a layout manager. Okay, so which layout manager do we want? These all look kind of interesting. I think I'm going to have to look through these a bit. I don't want a grid layout. I remember that from my days of doing <clears throat> client-side Java. I actually did a lot of client-side Java at one point. It's been so long, though, that I don't remember how it all works. Uh, card layout, box layout. I don't remember what that is border layout. Here we are. Yeah, so let's let's make a new border layout. Is it just that simple? Maybe the panel. Yeah, the panel I think defaults to a flow layout. So there we go. There's our box layout and uh, or border layout and I just need it to be constrained in that I don't need it to get uh, bigger on the X or I don't need it to get bigger vertically. I actually want it to stay centered vertically. Now one way of doing that is to there's all these tricks with layouts. You sort of stack them together and it uh, does cool things for you. So one way to do that is to put a flow layout inside of a, or put the box layout inside of a flow layout. Let's see what happens if we do that. So this will be our border panel. Well, uh, it looks like we're out of time actually, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Let's make sure it still works. To stop here. We'll continue spiking this code in the next episode. So thanks everybody for watching. I will catch you next time.